Well, Dick, they've passed their first test. The second round game, though, should prove to be more difficult between the Dayton Flyers and the Arizona Wildcats. This is where both teams wanted to be, Dick. Let's not wait any longer to get this one started. The Wildcats are the highly favored team in this one, Dick. Still, what are the keys for the game? the amount of free possessions that you give to the opposition. And lastly, make sure you eat up the boards. All right, there you go. Let's get to the action. See what's in store for us. High pull flashes for the opportunity. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul. The defender on his hip, and I think he's holding on to Doing a great job. A team with a phenomenal job, not a offensive player. To the ball. And I think right now, they're going to focus defensively. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. Here's a from behind. My man was up. Inside. He goes up strong, and that's going to be an offensive foul. Great call by the official. He beat him to the spot. That's essential defensively. There they come with a double team to stop it. Three. Drains the shot. Working it around the perimeter. Buries it. That's a momentum buster. He's here to fight, baby. Moving it around the perimeter. Bed the low block. And he'll kick it back outside. He unloads a three. It's good. is emotionally fired up. Well, you know, Brad, these student athletes play with fire and emotion. You rarely see that in the pros. Joe's patience waiting for the reset. He missed on the steal. That's going to be the offense's game. Yes, sir. They got the advantage right there once he misses that gamble. Goes out of play. Pass down low. There's a drop step, and oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step, very slow. The center handles the feed. Here's a double team. He stole the ball. Great pressure there. Fantastic ball pressure. The pressure got to the ball handler, and he lost it. Wilkinson handles the pass. Fires away. He hits it. Inside. Tries for two. I tell you, a terrific shot. Really impossible to get a piece of that baby. He throws it up from downtown. He gets the bucket. Looking for a good shot. The shooting guard receives the ball. He shows the sweet touch.
Ball was tipped loose, but the offense retains possession. Looks at a three. Oh, yes. Inside. Got an open look if he wants it. Way off target. Trying to draw some contact. He couldn't come up with it there. Hey, it's a long run back if you miss the steal. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. And he missed. Dayton are a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> He's pounding the ball with his deck. Where's he going? There's the trap. Stolen. Well, thank you for joining us tonight with Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. I'm Brad Nessler. The skip pass is picked up. Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? Jumps into the defender. Look at that spacing. For three. Scorches the net. Number 54 receives the pass. That'll take some pride on a defensive end. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Good job defensively. They just won't give him any openings. Pressure in the basketball. He comes away with it. He gets up the floor on the break. For two, the lane. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. On the inside, looking for the foul. Up and in. Boy, terrible execution on offense. On the dribble, gives it up. He keeps the dribble as they reset. There's a bad pass right to the defender. He'll regroup the offense. Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. That should be an easy bucket here, Mr. Nestler. For the bucket, makes the shot. Number 54 is trying to get the fans involved now. Well, he wants the crowd to get up for this defensive possession. Defense giving some room. Now they work it around the perimeter. They've left him completely alone. From three-point land, sinks the shot. Takes it off him. Looking for contact. He puts it in. With contact and all. All right, let's check in. Third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Brad, players they felt their biggest key was to get the ball inside. They said, we have the personnel to score in the paint, and that's what makes us a big threat. Well, I think she's right about that, Richie. I'll tell you one thing. You better be able to establish post play because that gives you inside, outside action. Didn't like what he saw in the post and reverses the ball. He goes for three. Great shot. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Ate just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post play. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, both teams appear to be really focused as they return to their benches. This is it for one of these teams. And as you guys frequently say, it's do or die, guys. All right, thanks, Aaron. There's a double team waiting there. 
He strips him clean. They get it out into transition. They really seem to be letting this one get away, Dick. Yeah, there's been a breakdown somewhere. They need to talk this one over, Brad. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. The Flyers have a mismatch in the post. It's definitely a mismatch. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Dayton are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it on, Brad. On the outside. Takes the pass in the paint. He hammers it home. You can almost see that coming. They were a little bit lazy on a defensive end. Mr. Excitement with that jam. Fronts in first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. He intercepts it. Almost lost the basketball. He makes the block. And the ball goes out of play. Standing ovation. You've got to love this reaction by the crowd. What emotion. What passion. The crowd appreciates their effort. Here's a flash from the high post. Tries for two. Dick, it's really been a while since I've seen a team shoot like this. Hey, every once in a while, you'll get a squad that gets on a tear and simply makes your jaw drop. It's fun to watch, isn't it, Brad? Entry pass in the paint. Basket falls despite the contact. Gave it up. That spin move's not going to work against a defense like that. I'll tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Robs him with the ball. Here they come now on a turnover. With the bomb. Off the rim and no good. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. He goes to the line for the first time. First shot, good. Rims out. He grabs the board. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Looking to move it around the perimeter. On the inside. He pump fakes. And, Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork beating him to the spot. He goes with a baby hook. I tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep close position, and the jump hook is so effective. in front to take it away. Now, he takes the hard hack in the air. He lays the ball in. That's what you take for the team, Brad. That is a great play. These kids have all the momentum now. Look at them. They're celebrating. Hey, can you blame them, Brad? They're playing well. He goes to the line for the first time the shot on the dribble gives it up moving it around the perimeter and a momentary look from three-point land tries a three that was nice For 
two. Great play to take that to the basket. Picks off the pass. With a bucket, perfectly executed. Assisted turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I'll tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. He may be in trouble here. Entry pass in the paint. Fakes the shot. He goes with a jump hook. I tell you, didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position, and then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking a shot when you make that turn. They'll work it around the arc. He puts up the three ball. He nails the shot. He missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? The post flashes up high if he wants it. Working it around the perimeter. He shoots from downtown. Drains the shot. Tries for two. Can't get the shot to go. It's stolen. Fast break possibility coming. I don't know if you saw it, Brad, but the mask got fired up after the last dunk. I think he wants to play, man. He's all fired up. Put him in, coach. Put him in. Get him some T.O., baby. Get him some time. Give him a chance, baby. We get another look at it in the lane. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Great play to take that to the basket. Man, I'm afraid to hear this crowd. If they can get a stop on this possession. Had him in the low block, but opted against it. Tries one from three-point land. You betcha. They work it around the perimeter. He up fakes. Run him right into the screen again. What did I say? The ball goes out of bounds. Nick, look at the number of points off turnovers. I'll tell you, getting baskets off turnovers is such a great and easy way to score, Brad. You want to maximize these opportunities as much as you can. Takes the pass in the paint. Number 54 with the fake. The ball goes out of play. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. And that what makes college so special, the enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. Dick, a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he's getting great inside position, has a great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They got the 45-degree angle, which is essential when entering the ball to the post. On the inside, pump fakes. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. And the ball goes out of play. Boy, assisted turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I'll tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. Now they work it around the perimeter. 
perimeter. Takes the shot way off target. There's the screen up on top. Pull up jumper from way out. He drains the bucket. Take another look at that play. few high risers on your team these days. The game has definitely changed in that regard. In the paint. Here's a nice face up down in the low block. Oh, he did a great job face up and then just attacked them and took it to the basket. Look at that spacing. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. Tremendous defensive effort, and that forces a five-second violation. The offense sets up from the sideline. For two, and he missed for the bucket. It sticks. a little change in direction here, Dick. I wouldn't be surprised if the schemes change somewhat. That's a foul. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. High post flashes for the ball handler. Oh, and you talk about a happy group of fans. Listen to this crowd. Oh, there's all kinds of people standing and cheering and going wacky. Taken away. Tries to draw the charge, and even he has to smile about this one. I tell you, kidding me. That's one of the great acting jobs of all time. Get him an Oscar. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. He makes a nice shot fake. With a jump hook. Doesn't go. Moving it around the perimeter. He tries the three ball. He nails the bucket. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. And he scores despite the hack. On the outside. Circle off the rim and no good. Count that as a personal foul. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. The Wildcats have got to continue to get him the ball. That he's on fire. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards up there. Yeah, that helps. 
from way downtown. And the ball goes out of bounds. At halftime, the Flyers trail by nine. Thus far, it's been a tightly contested game, Dick. What's your highlight of the first half? Well, the trifecta like we see here was and will be a part of the story in this game. We'll have to keep an eye on which team gets it going from out there in the second half. It's time to get back to the court, Dick, and see how their second half plays out. Arizona found themselves shooting very well, Dick, in that first half. Hey, that's a true sign of a well-coached team and a mature team. And we don't see too many mature teams. They're not mature like you, Mr. Nestle. <laughs> Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, as you can imagine, both coaches were very intense as I met with them at halftime. They said at this point, it all comes down to playing their game, having fun, and enjoying the moment. Guys? Thanks, Aaron. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. He'll kick it back outside. Picked out of the air. For the deuce. Perfectly executed. The power forward takes the pass. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. Offense gets it back after that ball was knocked loose. He goes with a baby hook. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. The shooting guard with the ball. Way off target. They'll work it around the arc. Steals the pass. With a quarterback pass. Jumps in. Finger roll. This is worth the second look. Jumped in front to take it away. And a momentary look from three-point land. He gives him the fake with the jumper. Bust the J. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. I'll tell you, three-quarter position trying to deny, but then he does a great job in post position and spreading his body and getting the ball. The Wildcats have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. They need to keep getting the ball. It's simple. Up and inside. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. <laughs> Try to come up with a steal, and they do. For the bucket. Easy one. The replay will give us a better look. Right there, they missed him inside. You gotta get the ball when a guy is open. That's a special art, feeding the post. Puts it up, looking for contact. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Now they work it around the perimeter. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Picked off. With a deep pass. The kick out. 
He's going nowhere. Ball well, stolen. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover City, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. Working it around the perimeter. He attempts the trifecta. Dayton are doing a nice job of putting a solid run together here. Yeah, they're really starting to click on offense. There they come with a double team to stop it. Turnover City, though, always really negate any offense. Down in the low post defensively. Great anticipation in the steal. You can see they did a great job studying in film. They anticipated that ball coming to that post. Looks for a three-pointer. The defender's doing a great job of applying ball pressure. Vicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. It's stolen. Takes the feed. Jumped in front to take it away. Too much. That's a foul. Nick, let's take a look at right now at our backcourt production. Hey, team success depends on backcourt production, Brad. If you can handle the rock, make good decisions, penetrate, and knock down the open jumper, you give yourself a great opportunity to get to the winner's circle. Steals a pass. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. High post flashes. Gets it back out. He unloads. Dick, these guys are tearing it up from the three-point line. Give me more threes, please. I love watching these kids drop the trifecta. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Goes in. The ball goes out of bounds. Nick, look at the number of points off turnovers. I'll tell you, getting baskets off turnovers is such a great and easy way to score, Brad. You want to maximize these opportunities as much as you can. Making his presence felt with a block. Oh, what a great job transition. Offense. Poor job defensively. Don't get back. Don't stop the ball. And they were allowed to convert. Get the number game going. From the top of the key. Good. Let's get another look, Brad. Double team now, bad angle. Kicks it out. Got some room. He attempts the three. He makes the shot. away the pass. Cross court. There's the trap. He shoots from left of the circle. Dick, they are on a deadly tear right now outside the yard. Everyone's in on the action tonight, baby. Turnaround jumper. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, impossible to block. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Nice steal there, but the offense gets the ball back. 
Sweet looking shot. He is sweet, but he really is. Side and he tries a drop step defensively. Nice job. Oh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. He shoots from outside. Sinks the shot. guy in the post but elected to reverse the ball looking for a good shot up and inside working around the perimeter and now there's a whistle and a foul let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us Aaron well guys after all this is the NCAA finals in talking with both coaches before the game they figured it would be a close game from start to finish I'm certainly looking forward to the game's ending for two and off the mark Working around the perimeter. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Up fake. Nice fake. Stolen ball. Gave it up. The point guard gets the pass. Intercepted. We're going to move it around the perimeter. He takes it away. Watch this break right here. Leans in, drops the bucket despite the harm. On the outside, the power forward gets the ball. And he scores it off the glass. He puts up the tray. He kept his dribble and ran the defender right off the screen for a beautiful jump shot, Brad. Picked out of the air. With a deep shot from outside. These three balls are hitting from everywhere. That's right, Brad. I saw one come from the hot dog stand not too long ago. <laughs> He gets the rejection. The ball goes out of play. Dick, look at this. He's not afraid to let anyone know how he feels. Man, the players are feeling it, and they want everyone to know that they're feeling it. On the dribble, gives it up. He strips him clean. You gotta be careful when you go for those steals, Brad. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. He drains the shot. They scored nine in a row. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. That was a high post screen, goes to the lane. Dickie simply on fire. Hey, call the fire department, baby. This one's burning up. Dick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. This may be a good opportunity for them, Brad. Tries to get the D to bite. With the shot. Knocks it down. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket.
They'll work it around the arc. Jump hook from the low post. And in and out. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coaches dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Picks off the pass. He brought the ball back down to the floor and he stripped them. He was applying great pressure defense. Went for the steal, but he wound up with a personal foul instead. If you're going for the steal, you better get it. If not, this is exactly what happens. On the outside. The power forward in the paint. And the ball goes out of play. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. He dials long distance. He got his jumper off by running that defender into the screen. Good fake. For two. I tell you, does a great job getting post position. Hey, Brad, that shot's impossible to stop. It's unbelievable. It's not utilized enough. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. Look at that spacing. Gave it up. Here's a double team. And the ball goes out of bounds. And that's one too many turnovers. Yeah, those turnovers are really a nightmare, especially when they lead to layups. Goes up for two. Great job of freeing himself with the screen, but shot won't go. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. For the deuce. Can't get the shot to drop. They work it around the perimeter. Now the turnaround jumper. He's not even looking for the open man, Dick. They might need a quick T.O., baby. For the bucket. Unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I'll tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid is responding in a positive way. Goes for three. Can't put it down. And a momentary look from three-point land. From right of the circle. He launches the bomb. He buries it. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. And the bricks just keep on coming, baby. I have to start looking for some easier baskets here, Dick. Looking to move it around the perimeter. He's 
Squares up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up and get in trouble for a position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. Didn't give it to him down low. Going the other way. Fakes the shot. On the dribble, gives it up. The ball goes out of bounds. I think it's obvious to me that they are starting to heat things up right now. I'll tell you one thing. They're getting good shots, and they're making them count. They're in a groove, baby. And when they're in a groove, that court looks like an unbelievable Atlantic Ocean instead of a teapot. Sets the screen for his teammate. Fakes the jumper. Tries for two. Dayton have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. He comes away with it for two. They're lighting it up from the field right now, Dick. They're in a dangerous rhythm, my friend. Dangerous. Dangerous for the defense if they keep it up. High post screen. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Pushes it. Steals the ball. Time to talk it over. We've got a timeout. this time, Dick. You never know what's coming, Brad. It's a 10-point spread, Dick. Yeah, but 10 points can't be spread too thin, Brad. Off the rim and no good. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. He throws it deep. Jumped in front to take it away. the outside. Picks off the lazy pass. For the deuce. They are red hot right now. They're feeling it from everybody on the floor, Brad. They're getting it from every spot on the court. They need a basket here to turn this into a two-possession game. Time out on the court, so let's go court side. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, guys, this is a great opportunity for the coaches to calm their teams down. With this much time remaining, they're stressing play smart basketball and take care of the ball. Thanks, Aaron. I wouldn't mind seeing them change things up a little bit, Dick, here. I wouldn't be surprised either. Six points is the difference. Wow, do they need a basket badly, Brad? Momentum will decide it. The ball goes out of play. You talk about a great drive. How about the State Farm drive of the game? I tell you, he was explosive. He was up, up, and away. What a drive to the rack, baby. That was special. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. He shoots from outside. He gets the bucket to fall. Working it around the perimeter. That's a matter of clock management, isn't it, Dick? Oh, and you talk about a happy group of fans. Listen to this crap. Oh, there's all kinds of people standing and cheering and going wacky. There's a look at the timeout situation. Hey, some people like to call it game management, Brad. Knowing when to use timeouts is an art. Also, team fouls. Defending without fouling is always important. And there's a look at the foul situation so far. Hey, know when to foul and when not to foul is a great skill to have. Coaches should always be communicating this with their teams. All you need is a score and a stop to have a chance. 
Shot clock is dead. For the bucket. Can't get the shot to go. Looking for a good shot. Look at that spacing. Dick, I think the better team won, we can say that. And uh, it's heartbreak for the other club. But, you know, you got to win it keep on going to get to that final Monday night in April. Well, I'll tell you, what this game ran when you look at it and analyze it because they really had all the right people shoot the ball at the right moment. They did a terrific job offensively. Dayton is on their way to the Sweet 16 now after dispatching both their first two foes. I'll tell you, Brad, these young men are bringing their A game, and their third-round opponents better be prepared because these kids are looking to go all the way, baby. So for Dick Vitale and Eric Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.